Hello everybody, this is Will from Scooter Ready. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to change the wheel circumference on your Bosch equipped electric bicycle. So stay tuned and let me show you how to do it properly. Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to give you an overview on how to change that wheel circumference. But before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the link down below. And don't forget to click that little bell. That little bell is going to give you notifications of all the great information and brand new YouTube videos we're going to be launching throughout the 2018 season. So you definitely want to check that out. All right, so let's get into the specs on how to actually do this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to determine which display you actually have. In the case of this bike, it's actually equipped with the Bosch Intuvia system. With that being said, the Bosch Intuvia display will allow you, the user, to actually make changes to the wheel circumference yourself without having to bring it into a Bosch authorized dealer. Now, for those of you who have the smaller Bosch Purion display, in that case, you would actually have to bring it into your local Bosch dealer where they would be able to configure this for you. So why would you want to change your wheel circumference? Well, you may want to be changing tires. That's going to be the primary reason. So what may originally come with the bicycle may not be the tire that's most appropriate for you. Or availability, for example. So when you go ahead and change out your tire, you definitely want to be checking out. You're making sure that your wheel circumference remains the same. And this is what's going to happen is it's going to maintain your Bosch system to be as accurate as possible, showing speed as well as range, all these types of things. So it does have an effect on the overall calculations of your bike. So let me walk you through on how to get that changed out on the Intuvia display. All right, so in order to get into the configuration mode of your Intuvia display, we first need to actually power on the Intuvia display. To do so, we're gonna push the power button. This is gonna take a couple of seconds as the system boots up and calibrates itself. Once calibrated, like so, we can now enter into the configuration mode. To do so, you're gonna to need to push the reset button as well as the I button at the same time, and you're gonna to have to push down on it for about three seconds or so. Once you enter into the configuration mode, release your fingers like so. To cycle through the different modes, you're going to simply push the I button on the Intuvia display or on your touchpad. In this case, we're going to push the I button on the Intuvia. Now we enter in wheel circumference mode. So this is where we can make about a 5% change in the wheel circumference, whether up or down. To reduce the wheel circumference, you're simply just going to push the minus button like so. To increase the wheel circumference, you're going to push on the light button, plus button and this will increase the wheel circumference to the correct wheel circumference for the wheel or tire that you have in place now. So this is a great option if you're changing from a more aggressive tire to a more city tire, for example. In order to exit the wheel circumference mode or configuration modes within the Intuvia, all you're gonna do is simply push the reset and the I button at the same time for a couple seconds, like so. Then release. We've now come back to the main display mode and your Intuvia display has returned back to normal again. When complete and done with the Intuvia display, simply just push the power button to turn off the display. So if you're ever wondering how to actually measure the circumference of your tire, it's really, really easy. Just pop out your trusty tape measure and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna measure the wheel diameter. So from the floor to the top surface of your tire, get that measurements. Preferably you'd wanna do that in millimeters if you can. If you cannot, and you can only do it in inches, get that information. And then what you're gonna to have to do is convert it by using one of the websites online to convert it from inches over to millimeters. Now, once you have that diameter, what you're gonna to need to do is multiply that by pi. So if you recall from your high school mathematics, pi is the factor of 3.1416. So you're gonna take that diameter, multiply that by 3.1416, and that will get you your circumference of your tire. And with that number in millimeters, you're gonna be able to program your Intuvia display with the correct details for that specific tire being run on your bike. If you don't have a tape measure nearby, or you don't feel like doing that, you can check out multiple websites online that will give you some good uh, circumference data for the specific tire that you're using. So simply just type in Google a tire uh, diameter or tire and circumference sizing chart and you'll be able to get some decent data from there and plug that into your Intuvia. Um, so thanks for watching this video. By all means, please uh, click on the subscribe button down below. Click that little bell to get notifications of all upcoming videos here from Scooter Ready. And uh, don't forget, if you really enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take care.